We have seen the world of Earth moving take some huge steps over the past decade in the shape of machine control and various functions to aid an operator. An example is remote control systems that allow a machine to be operated from a central location on the other side of the globe. Many old hands say these forms of assistance dumb down the skill of operating a piece of equipment. However, the lucky operators who get to use them disagree and that they not only get productivity benefits, but the financial gains are almost too much to ignore. For anyone working in the earth moving and mining sectors, the lack of fresh blood coming through is starting to leave companies looking for alternatives when it comes to recruitment. Many operators want to be home every night, don't want to work weekends, and even want to take holidays. Whilst many operations are capable of catering for these wishes, there are some tasks where continuous operations are required. Awesome Earth Movers took a trip out to California to meet up with one of the pioneers and leading lights in construction equipment autonomy. Built Robotics Before you all start saying, it's going to get rid of jobs, it's taking the skill out of the industry, etc., think again. Built Robotics are a tech startup company out of San Francisco, specializing in the automation of construction equipment. Unlike the common perception the industry has with machine control being an automated system, Built Robotics take their concept a huge step forward. Built Robotics' story starts in 2016, when founder and CEO Noah Reddy Campbell was told by his father to learn to operate machinery before he goes and automates it. Noah teamed up with co-founder and lead robotics engineer Andrew Liang to commence the development of truly automated excavation. Almost each and every piece of construction equipment requires an operator to be either sitting in the cab, standing next to the machine, or potentially sitting at a control station somewhere in the world. Built robotics do away with the human interface instead, relying on their systems to accurately plot, position, and operate an excavator within the required parameters without the need for anyone to be controlling it. The systems produced by the company are used in several fields, such as agriculture, oil, gas, and wind power. Here, an excavator may be required to constantly dig drainage trenches, cable, or pipe trenches over miles of ground. The monotonous job of undertaking one of these tasks would put an operator under unnecessary stress. Through years of research and development, the company has designed and successfully brought to market the Exosystem, a bolt-on package available for almost all late-model hydraulic excavators. The Exosystem sits in its own weather-sealed and cooled enclosure, which sits on the rear counterweight of the machine and is available to fit excavators ranging from 15 to 50 tons. Once the Exosystem is installed on the counterweight and safely secured, it can be plugged into the host excavator's CAN bus system. This will allow full autonomous operation of the host machine. The compact exosystem sits below the excavator's transport height, therefore allowing it to remain in place when the machine is moved from job to job. The enclosure is pre-fitted with a radar system, safety lights, and GPS receivers, allowing a simple plug-and-play connection to be made into the host. As easy as that? Not quite. To allow for safe autonomous operations to be carried out, there are a few other additions which require fitting to each machine. Yet again, simple mechanical or magnetic mounts allow a full suite of high-definition cameras to be fitted to allow remote viewing of the excavator's working position. Also detected are approaching objects such as vehicles or pedestrians. Like a standard GPS-equipped machine, a series of IMUs is then fitted to the boom, stick, and tipping link to relay real-time positioning of the digging equipment to the computer housed inside the exosystem. What sets the exosystem apart is its simplicity. There is no breaking the cab interior apart to fit any controls. This allows the excavator to be returned to a standard machine in a matter of hours should it be required. As with any piece of heavy equipment, safety is paramount. The exosystem's radar and cameras monitor the surroundings of the machine in real time, bringing it to a dead stop should any object be detected entering the field of operation. 
As a pioneer in construction robotics, Built Robotics has developed an integrated safety system that is practical and field proven. Based on a foundation of best-in-class safety hardware, the safety system meets or exceeds all industry standards and includes a geofence virtual barrier to keep the robot inside a safe working area. Safety Barrier is a high visibility orange barrier light that keeps people out of the robot's working area and along with high visibility safety lights that work in day and nighttime conditions. Wireless E-Stop is an emergency stop located at the corner of the safety barrier, whilst hard-wired E-Stops are safety-rated emergency stops located at various positions on the excavator. There is also a 110 decibel sound cue to warn anyone entering the working area of the machine. Whilst having the exosystem is one thing, Using a sleek and smooth software system is the key to getting the best out of the autonomous excavator. Built Robotics have developed Everest to work with the exosystem and provide a simple, intuitive interface in order to set up and monitor the excavator, its parameters, and also the work site. Everest allows remote monitoring of the excavator's performance. As the system is totally integrated into the machine's canvas system, any issues with the machine itself are flagged up in real time. Everest also allows multiple machines to be monitored and controlled from one platform. It permits remote uploading of custom job site files, bucket selection, and can even operate the machine remotely. Errol Ahmed, Director of Communications at Built Robotics says, We have designed a system with the help of companies within the earth-moving and construction sectors. We have listened to what their requirements were and acted upon these to bring a fully automated solution to the industry. When the company set out to develop Exosystem, it was because there was a need for it. We didn't design something and then have to make a market for it. Our goal was to bring a relatively simple system to the market to allow users the ability to use their resources in a more economical manner. The team at Built Robotics have also designed a system called Guardian, which is a remote cloud-based monitoring solution. Each robot automatically identifies obstacles and safety conditions and will immediately stop if an error occurs. Built robotic safety systems are engineered with redundant layers to ensure safe, reliable operation. Guardian provides another layer of redundancy, ensuring smooth, reliable operation in the field and has been dubbed the backup plan for the backup plan. The remote monitoring of the system provides a human touch to assess complicated scenarios and make executive decisions to efficiently complete the job. It updates users with real-time notifications and continuous monitoring, ensuring that robots maximize working time without interruptions. The only thing Built Robotics can't provide a solution for at the moment is that of fueling the excavator. Sadly, this still has to be done in person, Errol states.